Sub versus dub is the constant deba debate by anime fans. And I have watched both versions of Dragon Ball Super because I wanted to know what the differences were, you know, which version would be better. Um, as a whole, I have probably enjoyed Dragon Ball Super's anime uh, subtitled because the dub seems to ramp up the comedy a bit way too much. Uh, the movies seem to be uh, more subtle changes and this movie is no exception. Um, I think that Carmine and Magenta and Dr. Halo are much more menacing and kind of mafia-like in the sub. They're much more intimidating, whereas in the sub, they're played for a bit more uh, comedic. Uh, there's like, it's not quite a, a laughing reel, but there is a section which does pay a lot of attention to that. Whereas in the sub, it's much more subtle. In the fact, so much so that I couldn't actually tell that Carmine was laughing at Magenta at one point. Um, as for um, Carmine and Magenta as well, I think in the dub they should have actually switched the voice actors because Carmine sounded much more um, like an authority figure, whereas the guy who was playing Magenta just sounded like a bit of a doofus. Now, I can understand if that's what they were going for, but being that this is like the Red Ribbon Army, you know, most of the time they aren't pushovers. Even though they look a bit silly and stuff like that, they aren't pushovers. But it is what it is. One of the small differences was uh, Beerus's and Chile's interaction. Like, in the sub, it's it's clearly stated that he thinks she's cute. He has, like, a reaction to her and stuff like that. And it's one of those things that we haven't seen him do before. So it was quite interesting to see. And the dub kind of just washes over it completely. You still get the facial reaction and stuff like that. But he's just like, you can stay. And it's like, okay, but there's no, there's no real reason behind it. It's just very weird. The main selling point for the dub for me was actually Christopher Sabat's performance because his piccolo was riveting. I loved just hearing him just do his portrayal. Now, I did like the sub version, but he just, I don't know, it didn't it didn't connect with me the same way. Now, I don't know if that's because I've grown up with Christopher Sabat. I'm, I'm kind of used to his version of piccolo, but... I don't know, it, it sounded like he was much more caring towards Pan. He had more of a connection with Gohan, and there was a lot more of that, whereas he's, he felt kind of... A, it wasn't monotone in the sub, but I don't know, that he just didn't really... His voice was constantly kind of on like the, the same level, whereas, you know, there are different pitches in the dub that I could notice anyway. Um, I would also say that I actually preferred Gohan's rendition in the dub, he had um, he had the voice that kind of fitted him. You know, he's he's an adult now. He's got a family. Yes, he is a little bit raspy and nerdy, but it kind of works in his favour. And for me, this is the best voice that Gohan has had um, so far for this version of him, anyway. So yeah, I, I like that, and I like I liked his in, in, reintroduction when he meets the Red Ribbon Navi. That was really really cool. But the 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 score in the sub is just it's just badass and it's just like boom and like the rain just stops it's like whoa this is re this is like the moment um we don't quite get that in in the um dub I, I don't know if they changed the score but i don't know it just didn't quite feel the same if that makes sense and also with gohan like in the sub he actually sounded like goku now i know they share the voice actor and stuff like that but when i was watching the super anime you know, in, in the Tournament of Power and stuff like that, when they're interacting very closely, not once did they go, oh yeah, they sound exactly the same, you know, they they, they sounded different, there was, a bit of, there was a way to differentiate them. But in this, I don't know if it's because Gohan had uh, party scenes and stuff like that, and, like, the dramatic scenes required that kind of vocal performance, or if it was literally they didn't have very much time, and that was, that was all we got. But... It just sounded like Goku in this, and I didn't really like that. So that's another reason why I preferred the dub version of Gohan more. I would say that Pan was much better in the um, sub. She sounded much more childlike. She was much more kind of cutesy. Um, in, in the dub, I think it's um, the person who always dubs children and never quite gets it right. 
Because we all know what children sound like, and they don't sound like adults putting on a voice, but for some reason this voice actor always does the same voice, and it's just like, can you just please get someone else? I know it's I know it's like Funimation, and they have like their small knit team and stuff like that, but please, 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 just get someone else. As for um, Cell Max's performance, I think... In the Japanese version, he was uh, menacing. He sounded much more primal, much more fierce. Um, we didn't quite get that in the uh, dub. He sounded a lot more, um, I wouldn't say softer, but like those those roars that you got in the sub were like, wow, you were literally on your seat going, whoa. Whereas in, I didn't I didn't feel that in, in the dub. Like It was cool having all those scenes and stuff like that, and those, those fights were awesome. But I didn't quite get that kind of same connection. So overall, I would say that I actually liked both equally. Uh, usually I lean more towards one or the other. But there was a lot of things that I felt that both versions did a bit better than the other. So going forward, if I was to watch it again, I would probably watch either version. I'm more than happy to watch both of them, to be honest. Let me know what you think. If you guys preferred the sub or the dub. Uh, if you do prefer either one, why? Please let me know in the comments below. And thank you for watching. I'll catch you next time. Bye.